Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy here with you, along with Bill. Bill, how are you doing? We're back for some more WrestleQuest. Yes, we are, and it's been a little while since we've been on here, and we're going to be talking about some fun stuff today. We have Money in the Bank preview show. Um, I might talk a little bit about AEW, but probably not that much, but we'll see, because... Quite frankly, when you're doing a two-hour show and there's only five matches, then you got to fill up the time somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because there's a, I, I have a, a Mercedes Monet interview from the last couple of days that I have on my end that we could talk about as uh, well. So, uh, just writing here because I want to tell people that I'm live. Oh. He's live. Okay, well, hold on. Um, and also, I got to. Just getting things set up here now. Bill, how have you been? Tell people how you've been while I settle this stuff in on my end. Okay. Um, I have been busy the last few days, but I've been good. Um, did some yard work today and getting ready for this weekend because two of my nephews are going to be uh, in a musical. They're going to be in the chorus, um, but... They are performing in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Never seen it, but I've, I've heard of it. Same here. Uh, they have been constantly singing songs from it for the last two and a half plus months. I'm ready for this weekend to come. So they're spoiling so, it on you? They're not spoiling it. It's just like, I guess part of it is maybe they're practicing. and Because I remember one time... Um, I was trying to divert one of my nephews by singing a completely different song, and he was like, if you do that, I'm going to forget the words to the songs. So right. I was so I was like, oh, oh, okay, I guess I won't be that mean to you. So just want to let everyone know a quick programming note um, before we continue this Russell Quest pre uh, game. So we've basically caught up with where we are in wrestle in in things that we've already recorded so mm -hmm. this i believe is part 16 if i'm not mistaken right. video 16 um the last one was video 15. Mm -hmm. the one so what's getting posted this coming sunday is the wrestling stream that me and bill did last time and then the week after is going to be this what we're recording right now that is correct so there are no thank god there are no wrestling pay-per-views that are on every week so yes. we've essentially caught up and i think what i'm gonna do to fill up that time if i can uh, i think i've already recorded two of them um i'm gonna record my own little playthrough solo of road to the elite so whenever this wrestle quest thing is not posted on the youtubes on sunday on the youtube on sunday you will get a new Road to the Elite. Um, as a, like a quick, I think I did like 15 to 30 minutes of it. It's not long. Okay. So just letting everyone know, that's the programming plan. Because after not, like I said, this upcoming Sunday is going to be our pro wrestling stream that we recorded a few weeks ago. Then yeah, the pro next, wrestling night. Right, pro wrestling night. The next Sunday, which I'm trying to, here we go, I'm pulling up a calendar now. Come on. Can you pull up the calendar? Mine won't pull up. He had the, he had the calendar up. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, so... As soon as it decides... Oh, wait, I can use my phone. There we go. Oh, okay, I got so it. So this Sunday... It. Yeah, this they... Sunday, July 7th, <laughs> is the pro wrestling stream that me and Bill did with um, AEW Fight Forever and WWE 2K24 GM mode. Then on the 14th will be this stream that we're recording right now uh, for the next, you know, hour and uh, 57 minutes. Um, and then also there's going to be an intermission later on in this hour for this stream. Short, mm -hmm. maybe probably like 10 minutes. Um, and then on the 14th will be this stream that we're doing now. And then, because there's no pay-per-view until August, so that's when the Road to the Elite stuff will start on Sunday the 21st of July. 
until we get another event, which I don't even know what the next event is, Bill, to be honest with you. I think the next one is SummerSlam. Yeah, so... So here we go. Um, I'm going to be honest with everyone right now. I have not touched this game at all since that controller mishap. And I say this because that means I have not been practicing at all. I have don't even really know what we were doing, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember at all? The, the last thing I remember is you beat like an evil doctor and his robot. <laughs> okay. Oh, why does it look like I have a cold? Hold on, I gotta fix that on the on my image guy on my image guy. Um, let's put up the first match. That way we can talk about that while I fix this. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me get that. So, uh, here we go. And you start the discussion because I'm trying to fix this right now. All right. Let me put in who we have. Okay, so our first match that we're going to discuss is the Intercontinental title match. Sami Zayn defending against Braun Breaker. So, what they've done so far with Braun Breaker since he's come to Monday Night has been really good. Um, he was not put in the King of the Ring tournament, which had him upset because another person from NXT was put in the tournament. And he basically has been destroying everyone in his path since that time, uh, including Ricochet, who is no longer in WWE. Sami Zayn has been Intercontinental Champion since WrestleMania. Um, he's putting the belt on the line here with Braun Breaker. I expect this to be a good match. I think I think we're going to get a new champion here. I think Braun Breaker's going to win the title. Yeah, I think so, too. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't really think too much about this match. Um, no, I don't really care. Um, so, we read all this last time. I'm going to get right to the match because I think there's some special objectives that I think we may have to look up to see what I'm supposed to do unless you remember <clears throat> Like, how to do that? Well, well, I have the video just in case. I have it prepared. Oh, sure. Don't have to worry so, about it. So, yeah, no, I don't know. I just uh, There's a lot that I don't care about this card, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I think I've made it clear in past videos that... Um... That... I just think running the bank concept as a whole is just tired at this point. I don't care. Um, yeah, I don't know. What are you the overall like? Do you care about these money in the bank still or no? Uh, I I think it depends on the right people that are involved. Um, like there are some years where matches are really good and they've had like bad people in it and in other years where it's like oh my god this roster you know this talent is great and it doesn't end up like we want it to be i mean i like that it's just once a year the the, the match instead of being like oh we're gonna do it again yeah. and the winner gets a you know to cash in on the u.s title or intercontinental title I think what it is, is the fact that maybe this time around, part of it is we had the cash in at WrestleMania, and it was like three months ago. Or you could have done the thing that I think they should have been doing for a while, where they worry that they're running out of time. Mm hmm Which would have been a great, you know, story right there. All right, so here it is. Let hype go to negative 10. How do I do that? 
Okay, so what you do is Okay, I'm I wonder if you're able to look it up. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I, I think what you have to do is like purposely miss like some tur like when you go for the count, like not hit the you know the correct button in the right spot. Wait, no, isn't hide the thing on the bottom? Uh, I think it is. See, why don't you do a quick search? So yeah. How do you go? How do you let hype go? Go dead. Yeah, I'm watching a, a playthrough right now. So. Well, you might be able to just look it up in a search. Just say Russell Quest. How does? How do you let hype go to negative ten? And something might pop up. Right. So yeah, I don't know. So I watched Raw this week, as I usually do before these show. This we do these things. I don't know. There's just something that like I get why people be interested in Braun Breaker. I'm not one of them. I don't hate him, but I'm just like I don't. Right. I think he's gonna win, and I think it's predictable. And I don't know. I, I it's it's weird to me though how hot Sami Zayn was, and now where we are with him. I know some people are going to say, but he has the Intercontinental title. The problem that I have with all of that is that there's too many titles to begin with, so none of them really mean anything to me anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not just in WWE, that's also in AEW and, quite frankly, any wrestling promotion I could think of. Because even, like, the NWA has, like, 12 belts. And, yeah. Um, TNA has, I think, eight. I missed the days when it was like three belts. That's it. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. So what you have to do is sometimes when you make your move, you have to like miss sometimes on purpose. What do you mean by that? Miss on purpose. Okay, so like when you go for a strike, maybe time it wrong. Let's see. All right, let me try it. Like that? Yeah. It didn't go down. I don't think it's here. Watch the height meter. I'll do it again. Oh, it did. I'm okay, sorry. You're right. Down. You're right. Okay. okay. Anyway, so what were you saying? No, I just think, you know, I think maybe part of it also is, and, and I'm not trying to sound sexist here. But, but there's two of it? Is that where you're going? Yeah, a man and a woman. Yeah. I 100% agree. I think that would make things more interesting to me. Like, give one, I don't care who it is, give one of what, either the men or the women the Royal Rumble, and the other one, men or women, give the money in the bank match and that to me would be the best way to go about it but i mean look i know they're not catering towards me anymore it's pretty clear about that and you can alternate and you could alternate every year so like let's say this year it was the men that had the royal rumble well next year they don't have the royal rumble so let me get the The only thing is, is that I don't think wrestling, I hate to say it this way, but I don't think wrestling fans are smart enough to realize this. Mm -hmm. It's not simple enough. You That's know what I'm saying? Boring. Yeah. Don't complain that it's too complicated and all that. Oh, they, they don't complain about everything. That's the thing with, you know, a lot of is they will just find something to complain about. Well, I think you're wrong with this. You know why? I just did one. it twice and I got a hype plus one. Oh, now you're at three. Yeah, I've been going up. Okay, let me look at this. Okay. I'll keep doing that because it went to seven before. That's all I need. 
I better start healing too, actually. Chat Reddit, see if they got anything. So I already, I already lost because I lost the third one. What was the third one? Fatigue both opponents before one becomes full. Oh, oh we, okay. All right. So you know what? I know what I'm doing. All right. So just kill me. <laughs> bang bang! You're dead. How do I just lose? This? Don't you just? I just want to keep hitting it. Let me turn it. This will give you this will give you time to look up what I'm supposed to do. Okay, here we go. Well I definitely don't taunt because taunt made the high meter go up. Okay, so someone in the Steam community says one great way to do it is to pin and then let them kick out or fail the pinning minigame. The problem with that is I have to fatigue both opponents before they fall. That's right. how I lost the third one. Yeah. So well, first I gotta you know what I'll win actually because that will get me out of the match. I'm gonna say I failed. Right. Oh. Alright folks, hold on. This is really turning into a disaster stream right now. Can you see everything? Yep, I can see everything. Alright, so what did you find out? Okay, so... What I'm looking at... Oh, maybe they'll just give me the win. That'd be nice. <laughs> they'll drop for you. <laughs> Good. All right, we gotta do some talking, so here we go. It looks like here they're just... They're it just fighting? Like they just won? regularly. Like... All right, fuck it. We're gonna yeah. make Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Brink slash Brett. Uh... I, uh... You know, just want to, uh... Win or lose, I don't care. Wrestling's a real sport. <laughs> Well, no, you're supposed to read the thing. Oh, I'm reading. Okay, I'm sorry. That's what I meant by Brent Slash like Brink. Yeah. Right, guys. Is that it? No more minions to do your dirty work for you, grad school? Yeah, get back in here and I'll beat the college out of you. <gasps> college wrestling. Yes. <laughs> this is it over, honest bucks. Get ready for the next lesson. Wow, so that's... I wasted a lot of time there. 
Because yeah, really? I should have just won. <laughs> Brother ah. Javier? Who the hell's Brother Javier? Must I'll be a do, new character. Right, I'll do Brother Javier here. Alright. If the, uh, I guess I'll assume at least me, an Undertaker kind of guy here. If the idea of leaving your family again so soon distresses you so much, why not just stay? Would it really be that bad if the championship belts were around the waist of a Chinampo chimp and Feral Fostone? It would be worse than bad, brother. He is powerful. I see. I worry, brother, about the effect such a man would have on the LCW, yes, but also on the fans. I think about my Locha Ninos and all the other children that look up to our Federation. What would I be doing, allowing someone like that to represent the LCW? Have you spoken to you with your wife? Of course I have. She does not relish the idea of me leaving, but she will support me in any decision I make. Just remember that if you have faith, even fish can fly. Thank you, brother. Yeah, what's going on with him? Isn't he, like, champion of their promotion and he doesn't want to leave? Yes, you have to read little kids now. Dad, you missed it! The Lokins were great! Yeah, they were real heroes! Even though they couldn't complete the objectives. <laughs> That's... That's wonderful, kids. Are you okay, Dad? Did I lose you again? What? Oh. Oh, yes, of course. Hey, how about we celebrate? Happy show at the theater. They've got a silver halo marathon going on now. What do you say? Who's, who's Silver Halo? That's what I was going to ask. Is, is, that, is that like Silver Surfer, but... <laughs> oh, that's right. We're over here. You're Celine, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, you are. I, I, yeah, okay. So the coroner won't fly unless we get her clipboard back. But we have no idea who stole it. Yikes! Sounds like you boys are two shakes of a rattlesnake's butt away from disaster. You two, actually. See, if the coroner won't fight, neither do you, right? Bullseye, unfortunately. However, I have an idea of how we can continue your amateur investigation. There's always some chicken hawks looking to make some cash by selling counterfeit gear and questionable memorabilia. If I were a bandit trying to offload some stolen swag, that's where I'd be. Great. What's his name Henry. Let's go check it out. Let me chicken hawk. Let me chicken hawk. Go to the bootleg merchandise area. Okay, this not not the ring over here. <laughs> they don't have bootleg merchandise. Well, unless you're unless you're the Hebners, then maybe. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next match for Money in the Bank. All right. Why well, look so... at the bootleg merchandise? Oh, it's, you know I gotta move my person because I can't see the map. Right. Okay, so I'm kind of doing this in a particular order. A few matches. Okay. So, for those that are like, okay, why are they talking about instead of... That's why. So, our next match is a six-man tag match. Randy Orton, or Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens against the Bloodline. 
However, they did not say which three of the bloodline it is. Oh, okay. So, I, I, I guess I'll be starting this one yeah. again. So, the recent addition to the group is Jacob Fatu. Okay. And I love it because I've seen some of his work when he was in Major League Wrestling. The dude is a beast. Like, he is a legitimate beast. He... Oh. Okay, yeah, you don't need that. I thought, no, I thought that was it, because look where the thing is pointing. Is it him? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Look toward me. Do I look like an office supply store over here? Oh, here we go. Alright. Hey, I got a... I got the death certificate. You sold me wet. Can I buy a new one? Will you excuse me? Hey, he's getting away! Welcome everyone back to uh, WrestleQuest uh, Money WWE Money in the Bank 2024 preview. Uh, yeah, we're running some technical problems. If it keeps happening, unfortunately, I think we will have to sign off for good. But hopefully, it's a little under control now. Um, Bill, I was asking you last before we had this cutscene here, what you um, thought of Raw this week. Raw this week. Uh, you know, I in a weird way, I kind of don't remember Raw except for a few things. Like, the, the triple threat main event, which I thought was a good match. Um, the beginning with the Wyatt Six and the promo again. Um... Oh, and also the ongoing quote-unquote love story of Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio has kind of been entertaining, so. Hmm. But yeah, oh. other 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 than that, there's really not much to say. Yeah, I was kind of like, eh, like, look, here's the deal. I appreciate that we don't seem to be in an, in an era anymore that has to rely on part-timers constantly coming back. Mm-hmm. Like, even for a stupid on-screen thing, like, for one week. Like, I feel like if it was a, the Vince era, like, I would have seen Ron Simmons come out to do a damn for no reason whatsoever. So yeah. I'm glad that they're sticking with their current people. That being said, it's kind of boring. Like, I, I, and I know people are going to be mad because they're going to be like, oh, well, they're doing their highest numbers or they're selling out some metric that you know they'll use to justify things but i don't know as a someone that's a casual and just checks it out every once in a while mm-hmm. you know, it's just like bored and there's some stories i don't like either but all right let's right. continue this donnie oh yeah. har har like i haven't heard that one before all right look you want the clipboard back then you'll have to catch me 
mean, we caught him before, yeah. so... Catch Donnie. Catch his left three. What does this mean? Hey, it's right there. Oh. oh! Okay, so... Never mind. Get it right there, right there! No, I know, I'm hitting the button. I don't know why it's not doing anything. Now he's probably up there. No, I got him. Oh, good. Okay. Phew! Yikes, take that. It's all yours. Or take it. It's all yours. What are we even trying to get? We got it! Come on! If we hurry, we can catch up to Ven Veneta. Oh, that's right. Oh, the car Veneta. got... The car got stolen. I've been meaning to tell you. That's a nice set of hardware you got there. Excuse me? Your sidearm. It's a bit vintage for my tastes, but I recognize quality when I see it. Oh, thank you. Interesting choice for a wrestler, though. Guess there's more to me than meets the eye. I feel like the core should have said that. Transformer? Yeah. More than meets the eye. I hope so. Turn to the corner. So about for me, for Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens versus the Bloodline, mm -hmm. again, kind of just there. There, I don't feel like there's any stakes on that one. Right. Except for what you just told me. I don't know which Bloodline members are going to, to fight. That's like yeah. it. Although I will say, I did see clips of that Paul Heyman thing, and I thought that was pretty good. That yeah. Was really well done. Yeah, actually, uh, one of my friends texted me earlier today, and he was like, dude, for someone who's never really taken a pump, he did really good. Mm -hmm. yeah, is, is that... You did it, my clipboard. Oh, man, how can I ever repay you? Actually, my facially challenged friend and I wouldn't mind a few death certificates. Huh? Come on, guys. You know that I can only give those out to my defeated opponents. Why don't we let them in the ring, then? Seriously? Certainly. You're already scheduled to win, right? Let's up the ante. You're about to put me down, and my posse shows up and turns the tide for a bit. Crowd ought to love that. Talk to it. And then I can make it rain death I can make it rain death certificates. Great idea, Celine. Just come talk to me when you're ready to wrestle. Well, Celine, thank you. Yeah, quick thinking, soldier. Now, Sweat, just don't let me down, okay? I mean, you guys think you can handle yourselves in the ring? We'll be fine. Well, I'm ready to fight you right now. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, so who do you think? The Bloodline wins, right? Like, mm -hmm. Oh, Green Team. Yeah. Oh, you know her. You love her. You just don't want to meet her at work. It's... The Coroner! <coughs> and facing off against her, hailing from parts under snow, standing at 3.75 inches tall, it's Celine Logan! Jean looks kind of like a, a leprechaun. I was going to say that too. <clears throat> These matches set for one fall, and I don't think I can keep them apart any longer. Start the match. I thought um, <clears throat> Toy Box Jimmy was going to fight. That's what I thought too. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about the mandatory things. Right. Well, no, I think, well, wait, if it's mandatory, I might have to. Hold on. Let the corner break out of a pit. All right, I could do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, okay, so with the with the six man tag, I think the reason why we're here is it's setting up Cody's next title defense at some Okay. And he hasn't had a loss since night one of WrestleMania. So 
because I think I think Solo's going to be in the match, and I I, I think they're going to have Solo beat Cody, okay. and he gets the next shot. Oh, you think Solo's going to pin Cody? Yeah. I can see that. I wouldn't mind I Solo we'll Cody. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the only reason this match is happening. My only way to break the pin. Now apparently I have to get out of ten attempts twice. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna take a while for her to actually. Beat it, me. it is. <laughs> Wait, this can't be right. Perform a tag team maneuver? Yeah, it says it on there. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try pinning and see if if it says I fail. I'm curious about this now. After that last fight. Hey, stick to the script. Alright, so I have to do this. Alright, fine. Now I'll just turn. Alright, Bill, so why don't you put up the next match? Alright. I gotta get the for this one. Actually, we'll be taking an intermission here within the next 10 minutes anyway. So, after this match, we'll probably take the intermission. So the next match is the Women's Money in the Bank Ladder Match. Neo Sky, Chelsea Green, Lyra Valkyria, Tiffany Strand, and Naomi Zoe Stark. Now, Jim, I think you're going to like what I'm going to say here. All of these women and the men got in by qualifying match. That's nice. No one declared themselves. No. Every one of them. Wait, why didn't it register? What? What? He didn't lose? He didn't lose. He didn't lose. I'll try it again. I might be I hit the wrong button. I don't know. No. So yeah, everyone that is in the Money in the Bank ladder matches won via qualifying matches. Where am I going? All right, so what are your thoughts on this match? Um, This is kind of, uh, it comes down to two people for me, as far as a pick. Either Tiffany Stratton or Naomi. Because with Io and Valkyria, they're currently in a feud. So that eliminates the both of them. Zoe is just not going to win. She just is not. But what if she does? I'll be happy. Will you though? But as far as a, like character development, you know, they it's like all she's in is a tag team with Shayna Baszler. So with Chelsea Green, she would be a great choice. You know, she would be a great choice if she's the first woman to fail the cash yeah okay that would be the only reason i would look 
is if she, because because they said on Raw Monday, every woman who's cashed in has won the, the whatever title it is. Yeah. She would be the perfect person to be the one that's the first to fail the cash in successfully. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I like, like I said, I think it's still down to Tiffany and Naomi, but Chelsea's kind of a dark. One. I think, I think in the end, I, I think Tiffany's gonna win this. Okay. It's tough, though. Her or Naomi, one of them is who I think will win. But I'm gonna go with Tiffany right now. Um, I don't know who I'm, I would go with. Probably, I feel like they definitely push Tiff, like pushing Tiffany for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't get it personally, but whatever. Um, right. But also, Tiffany seems like too obvious of a pick to me. Right. I'm gonna go with Chelsea on this one. Okay. Just because of my wonderful booking idea. Yes. <laughs> You hear that, Paul? I, I had a great booking idea. Yeah, a great idea, too. Alright, that time it worked, okay. Alright. Alright, to bring in a pin attempt twice. Yes, yeah, so you gotta do it one more Okay, time. that's fine. Now that I know it worked this time. I don't know what happened this time. Must have been the control. Maybe the control. Maybe. Yeah, give me the autopsy. I'm just getting hit with a piece of paper. <laughs> I've been hit with the autopsy a few times. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we gotta let her break out and pin again. Hey, you look like you're ready to climb up on my table, Selene. Because of death, lack of skill. Ha ha ha. I'll show you skill, you two bit sawbones. Rossi, get her! That's where the tag team maneuver is going to come in. Alright, great. Toy Box Shitty's back again. Wait, what? Is she shooting oh her? He's shooting her! You call that a posse? All I see is a bunch of autopsies waiting to happen. Celine was shooting at her. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to break out of a pin again, so I'm going to just hit her. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm being smart about it. Hold on. No! Damn it. Because I was going to say I should heal myself. Before the take team maneuver. Yep. But because of my luck, Selene will get attacked and lose. Let's heal. Now we'll do the take team maneuver. And of course I can't. He'd be like Mojo Riley. Ugh, that guy. What's he doing these days? He's on social media a lot. I know that. I don't know. Why isn't it letting me do a tag team move? Unless you have to be. So we are. I'm gonna take 18 minutes. Yeah, all right now I'm toy box shit. Oh, I know why. I know why. Right, hold on. Hold on. Summons? Prepare, you have to prepare for it first. Okay. Right. Now I should be able to do it. There we go. Yep.
Is that your best shot? Excuse me? What the hell? What the hell's going on? What the? Okay. I mean, you did everything. But I won. It says victory. Uh, and I got three death certificates. And purple fireworks. Because everybody loves purple fireworks. Everyone went up a level. But the real question is, did anyone die just now? <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Wow, what a go to thing to go on intermission to. Did everyone die? <laughs> Thanks for helping us, Celine. I owe you a handshake as well, partner. Without you guys, I wouldn't have known about the coroner's plight and we couldn't have rustled up her clipboard. So, are you shipping out for another tour with the Indies? Not quite yet. I thought I'd give you two a hand getting up to Klaus Mansion. I hear the front yard there can be a little unforgiving. Wow, really? I mean, yeah, we could use a hand. You guys gave me one of the best pops in my career. The least I can do is help you get to your destination, partner. Are we just not going to acknowledge what happened at the end of that match? I don't think we are. I don't think we are either. Okay, fine. And See if I, I care. Out of the river sticks. See if I care. <laughs> now, if you go to the river sticks, do you have to listen to sticks? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our um, our intermission now, and then we're gonna go to Seasmore. Have we been to Seasmore before? I don't think we have. And Bill, why don't you give a preview of like what's the next match that we will be talking about on our 10 to 15 minute return? All right, so when we return, we will be talking about the men's Money in the Bank ladder match and the World Heavyweight Championship with some very interesting stipulations. All right, we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes.
Welcome everyone, we're back with some more Money in the Bank preview show. Bill, what's our next match? Actually, you know what, before that, right, you know what, before that, hold on, I just yeah. want to mention something real quick right now. I'm pulling for Jeff Jarrett tonight. It's Wednesday, it's Dynamite Me tonight. Too. <clears throat> and you know who I know, this is an AEW rant, I understand that, but I mean, like I said, you gotta work with us if we're only gonna talk about five matches. 
for WWE's pay-per-view. I mean, and a lot of them I'm not really that interested in. I really hope it isn't who is being hinted at. I don't want to be Hangman. Because I don't, because I have a very bad feeling. Hangman's going to be in it. Hangman's going to win. And then we're going to get Hangman Swerve. And I do not want that. I want Jared. It's, it's like I said the other day. Any other year where there's no stipulation, I could see Jared winning the tournament. I really could. So, you know what it is, I think, with Hangman and Swerve? Like, I get it. They've been feuding, and that's probably what you he's going to go for for Wembley. But I almost kind of feel like Hangman and Swerve is AEW's equivalent to Cena versus Orton. Where the company okay. thinks it means more than it really does. Okay. Like, you know, because WWE always wrote Cena versus Orton, Cena versus Orton. Oh my god, they were both. Mm -hmm. But every time they fought each other, like, unless I missed the match, no one cared or they didn't care as much as they did other things. Right. See, the thing, and, and I'm going to make the counter argument. Sure. Here. The thing that makes me think it's not Paige okay. is because Paige was suspended by the Bucks back in March. Okay. And that has me thinking, why would they bring Paige back if the whole thing, you know, was like a setup? Yeah, but something? didn't the Bucks say like, oh, it's someone that's representing the elite? Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean it could. Yeah, be but what if they made a thing where Hangman's like, yeah, "Hangman, you can come back. You have to join. If you join the Elite, we'll put you in this tournament." Right. That would make sense. But yeah. then it wouldn't. Wouldn't. But then what happens if like, do you have heel Hangman for a while? Like that's the other question there. To be honest with you, I do almost feel like Hangman, to me at least, feels like a heel if he's the one coming in to fight Jarrett. Mm -hmm. Jarrett, one hundred percent, feels like the good guy here. Mm -hmm. I hope it's someone like that's like a real shit guy that the Bucks just bought up and like alright yeah but at first I thought it was going to be Jungle Boy and I'm like good because right. Jared can beat Jungle Boy 100% right. but now I don't know because Jungle Boy just won the um the NT title right so I'm like no it can't be that then and the whole, another rant I have right now on AEW are they for real Bill MJF is fighting Danny Garcia at All In. I think it's a tease. I hope so, because that is dumb. That is straight up a terrible use of MJF. Do you agree with that at least, or no? <sighs> at a show to like an, All In. To like, an extent. Like, yeah, if, I, it, I, if it was Wrestle Dream, sure, fine. Yeah, there I would agree with you. If it's Wrestle Dream full gear yeah yeah be no problem a tv special yeah battle of the belts 22 oh god i can't believe they're still doing that and like i said though it does live up to its name because battle of the belts has always been shit and under AEW, it continues to be shit <laughs> i don't know why why tony khan thinks there's these fond memories of battle of the belts if anyone's never watched the battle of the belts Feel free to watch an old one before AEW. They're boring. And I know this because Bill because Bill had me watch one for a recording we were supposed to do with a certain guest that never happened. And I was pissed because I'm like, that show sucked. And I watched the show for nothing. There was like some kind of weather problem. And I hate how Gordon Sully kept calling Hawk the Hawk. Well... You know, it's kind of funny you bring up Gordon Sully because <laughs> um, David Penzer on uh, Twitter last week mentioned that the first debate for the presidents was at the old TV station where they filmed Georgia Championship Wrestling. Oh so I was kind of like, 
oh, can we have AI Gordon Soli dude be the moderator? I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, Gordon Soli's a good announcer, but uh, there's just like certain things that I was like, yeah, I'm, you know, this isn't for me. Why is it telling me go here when I it's telling me go back out again? Be, be, Gordon Soli be like, all right, the uh, first, uh, the, the, the first question is for President Biden. How do you feel about the uh, over the top rope rule? Should it be a disqualification? I guess I'm going this way, by the way. Um, by the way, one other thing I forgot to mention about the Bloodline match for, mm -hmm. for Money in the Bank. Do you think there's going to be a new quote-unquote wise man? And if you do, who do you think it should be? Because I definitely haven't thought on who I think it should be. I have no idea who it would be. I would say... Oops. I didn't want to get in that fight. I'm a, I'll, let me throw this one on you. The new wise man, Eric Bischoff. Um, and you're gonna ask me why? Well, I would say why was Heyman with the Bloodline? Because he had a relationship with the Samoa. Does he? Yeah. What's the relationship? Well, he knew them when he was a photographer, and then he managed Samu and Fatu. Did he? I didn't know that. Yeah. So he has ties to. Alright, I guess they if, if they get a new wise man, it has to be someone that has ties to the band. Where did it wait a minute, where did they um I wanna lower the volume on this? What promotion did he manage the uh the Samoans? Oh, uh NWA. Okay. It was like 89, 90. Which I feel like there's a WCW connection there. Yeah. Eric Bischoff. Because yeah, ultimately, because yeah. ultimately, ultimately, what they're gonna wind up leading to is Roman coming back and Paul Heyman hitting, you know, maybe having his revenge by hitting their wise man. Isn't yeah. Eric Bischoff a good person for that? That would be true. Anyway, that so would be true. so yeah. anyway, my, back to my AEW rant. Yeah, so I hope it's not MJF and Garcia. That's terrible. Put out of here. Now, I, I want to stick with AEW for one more sure. minute because I'm getting ready. For um, Mercedes Monet had done a couple interviews, and she said some interesting things. Okay. So, I think it was last week, she was interviewed by TMC Sports, and Monet said in the interview that she has creative control. Brother. Brother. Um, she says she works with Tony Khan on the stuff, but she has creative control. And freaking bastard. That's terrible. I mean, and, and you know what? It shows, because now she holds two belts now. Yeah. Again, again, brother. Brother. Like, I'm kind of a little scared of how that feud with Red Breaker's gonna go. I mean, they might as well have it as a match for creative control. Right. And then, uh, she did another interview where she talks about, she talked about a lot of things in this other interview. So the first thing she talks about is being labeled an unsafe worker because of what happened with Paige. I years. do not know anything about that. You want to inform me of this? Because I don't know okay. about that. So... They were in, like, a six-woman tag at some house show. Mm -hmm. They go for a move, and Paige accidentally has her neck injured. Like, like someone put the film up years ago, and, and it was an accident. It, I, I saw it. It was, it was an accident. Mm -hmm. So she got labeled an unsafe worker. 
And her quote is, I was so depressed by it. That definitely sent me on a spiral of depression because wrestling has always been my biggest goal and dream. And I've always wanted to be the greatest at it, but you're not. So to hear any kind of noise that people might not think you're safe, it wasn't even the boys in the back. It's just the fans thinking you're not safe. It's scary sometimes, but that's the business that we're in. You never know when you're going to get hurt or know when you're going to sprain something. Break a neck, break a knee. It's just the business. You have to go out there knowing that you're going to put your life on the line. But we do everything we can to protect each other, and unfortunately, that happened. I, I mean, I, again, I don't know too much about the situation other than what you told me. Yeah. What do I you mean, think? I, I I agree with her for once. I mean, she it was it was an accident. Like I remember seeing it. You know, I, I've never thought of her as an unsafe worker. Yeah, because to I've me, an unsafe had... worker is someone that has injured multiple people. Unless you could tell me <laughs> other people that. Like, Goldberg was an unsafe worker. Ahmed right. Johnson was an unsafe worker. Ryback. <clears throat> Ryback, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I want to huh? put her in the camera. So, in the same interview, she talked about how WWE tried to prevent her from working the Mandalorian. Mm. And, I'm, and it's like, why you know it's so stupid you're you have a job you have to do the job you know right right and then when she let her when walking out on wwe she said and i quote for so many years everyone wants the tea on that drama you're not going to get it unless you buy the book maybe 10 years later okay so that's fine, whatever. And but then don't tell people, because I saw a video a few months ago where someone said I forgot what they said. They said why they thought that she left, and she's like, "No, that's not true." And I'm like, "All right, then tell us what is true." Mm -hmm. What you do in that yeah, instance is say you no no comment. Then. Yeah, here's another here's another quote. That's definitely a big reason why I came to AEW. Even doing the Mandalorian was pulling teeth with the WWE. I mean, we kind of knew that, though, because, I mean, yeah. Paul came out about that stuff in 2011 about him and doing a bunch of shit that they won't do, they won't let him do because they mm -hmm. want their guys, to, their chosen people to do it. It yeah. wouldn't be surprising to me that, like, they tried to get someone that, I don't know, I'm trying to think who they're high on at that time, like, that she, when she was there. Right. Like Charlotte. I like Charlotte, but they definitely favor Charlotte a lot, so it wouldn't surprise me if they were like, no, you can't do it, but, you know, like, maybe we could try to get Charlotte on there. Yeah. So, that was, an, that was one of the other reasons why she left. And then, I read this one today, and this was kind of like, man, are you kidding me? So, her husband, um, her husband makes the outfits for her. Mm. He was I a wrestler. I didn't know she was married, to be honest with you. Right. He, he was a wrestler at one point, but he has since retired, and he started making clothes for the wrestlers. Well, he made an outfit for her for a Money in the Bank. She didn't say what year he She yelled at him for like the coloring and how it was gonna make her look bad. But she like legit yelled at me. And I'm like, are you freaky kidding me? Like if I was him, I would not take that crap. No, and also if it was him, like if it was the, again, imagine if it was the other way around. And it was oh, yeah. the man yelling at the woman. He wouldn't hear the end of it. Exactly. Well, it was at their house, but still. No, but you're letting the story be known to public. Mm-hmm. It's that double standard again. Yeah. This is why I can never, like, 
As a wrestler, I think she's good. I mean, she's not great. She's had great matches, but you know, you gotta have other partners to dance with. Yeah, of course. As a person, she's a fucking piece oh, of yeah, shit. Oh yeah, she's terrible. She's terrible. Yeah. Like I said, I, it's, it's, I never got like her. I never got. I never understood. I never understood people that are like, uh, she's this big star of the Mandalorian. Now, I don't know if you've watched the Mandalorian at all, but I've watched the Mandalorian. I'm a fan of the Mandalorian. She can easily be replaced in the Mandalorian. She wasn't some major character that I feel like. Not even her, but her fans make her out to be. Like if Gina Carano can be replaced. She was a main fun. character. Yes. Right. Oh. And okay. like, now that being said, I think that would I would actually be open to that if her gimmick all of a sudden became I was the star of the Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you know, she's a heel. I think that would be really funny because it's like right. can show you that she's delusional and that would be really yeah. funny. Like, and then she goes, she's like, maybe I'll go home and give my good buddy Mando a call. <laughs> and you know what the other thing is? And I was thinking about this the other day. I think, I really think, Mercedes Monet has lived off the reputation of like maybe two or three matches that were almost 10 years ago. Okay, yeah, probably. The the Bailey match at NXT Brooklyn, which is a great match. It really is. Um the the feud with Charlotte in 2016. Just the feud was really good, you know. And the WrestleMania match with Bianca Belair. Mm. Like I think she lives off the reputation of those three matches. Okay. Whereas, like, okay, we'll go with Charlotte, for example. She's had good matches with Mercedes. I, feel with like, I mean, I feel like Charlotte's had good matches with everyone. I, exactly. I guess I think she's one of the top. Honestly, she's one of the only women's wrestlers I even like in WWE, and I get it. She gets overpushed, and I feel like part of that is... <clears throat> part of it's on, uh, on WWE because... Instead of making her her own person, they just want to make her female Flair. I mean, her her move is is like Flair. Her music is like Flair. Flair. And the so one of so like... so one of the things that Flair is known for is being a 16-time world champion. Well, it takes a long time to get to 16 times, so mm-hmm. you're always going to be constantly pushed if that's the gimmick. And like I said, I don't know if I blame Charlotte because as much as I like Charlotte. She is one of the most unoriginal people in all of wrestling because nothing is original to herself. Everything is based on her father. And I know for other people, it, other like sons and daughters, you could say the same thing, but not to the extent of Charlotte. I, I think the term you're looking for here is Nepo baby. Not really though, because that, would have any, that wouldn't have anything to do with why she is based on everything Flair. Like, if you were to say... Nepo Baby, I feel like, is more towards, like... If she was the son and the daughter of, of someone... Mm-hmm. And she didn't have all those things that resembled her father. She was just herself, but she still got pushed for no reason at all. Mm-hmm. Then I would say that's, that's Nepo. This is more of, like copycat stuff okay all right but anyway so uh, uh, go ahead what were you saying I, I i i both want to compliment charlotte and also kind of bash her but i don't know if it's her fault that no, maybe she had I, may, she might have had ideas that were like well instead of doing things like my dad let me try doing this and maybe they got nixed i don't know i i will say this though with charlotte <clears throat> her being injured was a blessing and a curse the blessing is she could come up with different stuff now. You know, once she comes back, when she's 100% healthy. The curse is the women's division, it didn't start suffering with her, but, it you know, it's kind of there. Mm-hmm. 
I think when Becky decided to leave, it's like, yeah, th- this is going to suffer for a while. By the way, Becky definitely should not go to AEW. No. No, she no, should She is not a fit. She's M- Mercedes, to me, isn't a fit. And I think Becky would be even worse of not being yeah. a fit. All right, let's yeah. do this cutscene. Go ahead. All right, all right. Did you always want to be a wrestler? Honestly, no. Not always. Don't get me wrong. I love wrestling. It's hard not to. In my family. But I also like sharing warm cocoa and conversation with my mom on long, deep, snowy nights. And sometimes I like the new sights and scenes from the towns on the indie circuit more than the actual wrestling. I don't know. Maybe I lack focus. I guess that's how I ended up in the indies, bouncing from match to match, always looking for another ring to slam in. Life on the circuit sounds a lot like being a merc. You must have grit. Living like this, it takes guts. Sure, but so does anything worth doing. You can't live your life controlled by fear. Actually, that's a great line. (laughs) What about you? You always want to be a soldier? We're getting everyone's backstory here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I had a choice. The writing on the back of my box is pretty clear, lady. I was designed for war. Or at least getting paid to mess stuff up. You know what I mean? Excuse me, my dead friends, but we have arrived. Oh yeah. Cloud Mansion should be just ahead. All right. Next uh, match. Yeah, why don't we get to the next match? Yeah, because we only have a half hour left here, so. And we only have two matches to talk about. Yeah. So, I'm going to put in the people that are in it. While you do that, I'm going to think, I don't think there's anything else I really want to bring up with AEW. I'm, I mean, like I said, I haven't really followed it. I, I, I knew a few of the things, like Jared's <sighs> thing and whatnot, but. You missed a hell of a main event. For what? Oh, uh, Forbidden Door. With yeah. Swerve and Will Ospreay. I'm kind of That's surprised it. Ospreay didn't win. Actually, what I read, it was Swerve, or not Swerve. It Why was, is uh, this here? It was Ospreay's call. Why is this here? Oh, ah, what does everybody want? Hey. Uh, so what's the what is it? It's uh gotta read the next match. All right, so the next match is the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Jay Uso, Carmelo Hayes, Andrade, Chad Gable, L.A. Knight, Drew McIntyre. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna get rid of a few people right now. Carmelo Hayes, as much as I like him, he's not winning. L.A. Knight is not winning it because he's feuding with Logan Paul. Andrade is not winning it because he has to defend the WWE speed title. He's he's the new speed champion. Okay. So, oh, and Chad Gable's being stalked by uh, the Wyatt 6-6. Six, six. So, so it comes down to Jey Uso and Drew McIntyre. I hate both of those options. <laughs> with Jay. They have absolutely nothing for him to do. Not a thing. With Drew, <coughs> he is in this wonderful feud with me. I don't know if I'd say wonderful. Okay. But the way it's been built. I mean, the last thing didn't even make any sense, the Clash of the Castle thing. So you're going to tell me this man had no plan, but decided to travel overseas in hopes that a referee gets knocked out. (laughs) Okay, so after that happened, okay, I should probably explain. So after that happened, Drew quit. I I, I do know this because I did see something, I think in like a recap video when I was. Yeah. And then he beats up Punk on SmackDown in Chicago. That was the one where they, um, he did the, um, they revealed it by opening the garage or something, right? Yes, yes. That was terrible, too. I'm like, this thing, I'm sorry, it's, to me, 
I don't know what it was, but to me, Punk's makeup job looked like that of a, like a clown that did his makeup wrong. Like if your nephew, when he was like four years old, said to, was going to paint your face with, with red crayon, that's what I think would happen. It's how Punk looked to me. It's like a bad joker, like. Thankfully, none of my four nephews ever did that, so. Or at least with red crayon. <laughs> I can't, I, I know some people are probably like, oh my god, it's blood. Uh, I'm like, I don't, I just see a bad paint job or makeup job, whatever you want to call it. Did I ever tell you, real quick, kind of off topic, right. did I ever tell you the story of how um, my oldest nephew shaved for me one time? Shaved you? Yeah. Okay. Why would you even trust that? I don't know. Well, what happened? Did you, did you just get injured? Not as bad. He didn't do that bad of a job, actually. He, he got, like, my ear, but it wasn't, like, terrible. So what I did was I ended up... Um, putting like a band-aid on it and I took a picture of it and I posted it on Twitter and I was like, hey, I had a Mick Foley moment. Mick Foley like that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. How is good old Mick? You know, it's weird. I mean, he stopped the Conrad podcast. I know that. Yeah. I... But he's too bad I like that one, actually. I, I heard a rumor. Of course, I don't know if it's true or not. Especially from the person who said this, Rene Dupree. Oh God, I didn't even know he was still around doing things. So he said on his podcast. I know, Rene Dupree has a podcast. Uh, yeah, again. Everybody. But then again, freaking JBL and Gerald Briscoe have a podcast. I can just imagine all of the, the the political talk on that one. Gerald Driscoll has wished me on a few occasions on my Facebook Oh, happy God. Birthday. Okay, go ahead. What did he do? No, he just wished me happy birthday. But I still think he's the biggest brown noser in the company. So well, anyway. I don't know. I feel like there's some people that might have surpassed him. But go ahead. Go well, ahead. I mean, at, well, at the time. At the time, yeah. At, at, no, but anyway, Dupree said that Nick and his wife had a good Really? That would but explain some things. But here's the thing. Foley, to the best of my knowledge, has not said anything about if they did divorce. Mm. I haven't heard anything. Well, his podcast ended probably before that, because I feel like his podcast ended months ago at this point. I feel like in so, January he end, <clears throat> ended that. So until I hear from Mick or one of his kids, like Noel, that the divorce did happen, I'm just not going to believe it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to believe it or not. All right, so for me, for this Money in the Bank match, yeah, I don't like the Jey Uso, Drew McIntyre idea. I don't even really know who Carmelo Hayes is. I mean, what about, what if it's Andrade? It's possible. I mean, he could... What if, what, if that, what, if that, what if that was the deal? They're like, talking to Hunter, I'll leave AEW, but I have to be money in the bank. I don't have a problem with that. And as far as Chad Gable goes, I mean, he's whatever. God bless him. <laughs> I think out of everyone on this, this one that I want to win is... Honestly, probably Carmelo Hayes, because I don't know him. And then maybe I will know him. And this is his chance to shine. Right. I want Gable to win, but I think it's going to be Drew that wins. Uh, and the only reason I don't want Drew to win is because I know that we're going to get the CM Punk stuff more. And I mean, like I said, I haven't been a fan. I, I guess until they have the match, you know, I, I'm. I would think that's going to be SummerSlam at this point. You know, if yeah. Punk is medically cleared, that match has to be at SummerSlam. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I just want to get to get over it because the other thing is, 
Well, no, no, neither of them have a title. What am I talking about? Never mind. Right. It would not be a title. All right. Uh, main event time? Yeah, main event time. Let me put it in. So I'll put in the match, and then I'll explain the stipulations. Oh, yeah. It'll take a lot to put in the stipulations in the chat. No, I, I realized earlier there are no, besides the women's ladder match, there's no other women's match on this show. I mean, if it doesn't make sense to have women, don't have it. Right, right. All right. So the main event, more than likely of this pay per view, world heavyweight title, Damian Priest defending against Seth Rollins. So to kind of give a background for Jim, Rollins comes back on Raw after um, Clash of the Kings. Okay. So Rollins is like, I'm going to get my title back. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to win money in the bank. And he tells them, I wanted to cash in on you at WrestleMania, but you lost. So I never got my chance. Mm -hmm. So please, and I actually like the end. I, I know you're not, but it's okay. Freeze offers Seth a title shot. Right. Because in a technicality, Seth hasn't gotten his ring. I don't you think know, he did away with rematches like a year ago. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm still then thinking. Then again, they've already ruined the brand split already. I'm, I guess I'm still thinking of this. Week. So Seth accepts the challenge. So then, the following week, they each add a stipulation to the match. So if Damian Priest wins the match, Rollins cannot challenge for the title as long as Priest is champion. Okay. If Rollins wins... Isn't the stipulation that he wins the title? If Rollins wins, he wins okay. the title. Okay. Besides that stipulation. Uh, wh why would you even put anything else on the line? Like, what would Damian Priest, why would he do what? I don't even know what you're going to tell me, but why would he do that? If Rollins wins the title okay, go ahead. and becomes the champion. I better brace myself for this one. Go ahead. Damian Priest must leave Judgment Day. Okay. You, you were thinking it was something worse, weren't you? Uh, no, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And the way things have been on Raw the last couple weeks, it's looking like, you know, like there's a change in the group because of what's going on with Liv and Dominic. Right. Because, you know, Rhea's out of action. Yep. And Liv is, you know, doing the whole, oh, he's my poppy. Yeah, by the way, how unrealistic was that, that apparently she bought him... Talk about unrealistic. She bought him a PlayStation 5. Get out of here. No woman in 2024 <laughs> is buying a, a guy a PlayStation 5. Let's get real. <laughs> okay. Along I, I with other things, I don't even think the PlayStation 5 was the only thing, to be honest with you. The, the only question I have is, yeah. does it have the ability to put the disc in? Oh, yeah, she probably, in this weird story, yeah, she probably has the disc of it. <laughs> so, so you have that, and then Finn's being a little weird as of late, and then Carlito is trying to get in the group. I thought he was he's in not the group. Like, he's not like official. So, this is where and I know you're going to hate this. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Okay. I think this is where Drew McIntyre cashes in his contract. But he's not going to win. Oh, for money in the bank. Because okay. Punk's going to screw him over. And then, what will happen is, I have this scenario in mind. Gunther has the title shot at some point. Okay. So, let's wait, so say... Should he be... So, wait, is it... Wait, so Gunther's fighting... Cody? No, 
He's facing the World Heavyweight Champ. It's your brand's title. Wait, oh, your brand's title. Okay, Gunther's on... Raw. Raw, right. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah wait, so that's... Oh, no, you're right, you're right. God, it's so confusing because they've ruined the... They've already had people go back and forth. Like, they've already messed that up, so I'm confused. Like, Punk being on SmackDown. Why? Or the King of the Ring finals, which you talked about. Or King of the Ring in general. The finals. Just have one brand be King of the Ring and one brand be, I don't know, some other event that you could only be there. That's what it used to be. That's what it used to be. Oh, that'd be great. No, remember we used to do that with, with that River on SmackDown. One brand had the women's division. One right. brand had the cruiserweight division. Cruiserweight division, division. yeah. I don't know why they don't just do something like that instead of like all these titles and anyway. So, okay. So I'm throwing this possibility. I don't know if it's gonna actually happen. So Drew cashes in, Hunt costs him the cash. Either Priest or Rollins will pin Drew. So neither stipulation ends up happening. Okay. okay. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but there's this is a possibility. So the next roll, the other guy comes down and is like, you didn't beat me for the belt. You you beat that guy. I should get my rebound. It'll end up being another triple threat match. And it'll be at SummerSlam. And are you excited about that triple threat match? No, because it should be Gunther against whoever the champion is. And Gunther should win that match. I'm gonna, I, you know what? I'm gonna say it right now. Gunther will win the World Heavyweight Title at SummerSlam mm -hmm. because the following pay-per-view is in Germany, and he's from Austria, which I think is close to Germany. So, unless I don't know. for the energy. And, and when is that? When is this? August, movie? August 31st. Wait a minute, I just lost something. Hold on. Okay. Does that mean we're gonna have to do three Wrestle Quests in August? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if I could do it. I <laughs> it, it, I, I thought we it was could. just SummerSlam and all in. Alright, we'll figure it out. I don't, I don't yeah. I'm not I didn't realize that they had another show in August. Well, it's like it's like the very last. Oh my god! Of... And then, if I'm really thinking about, it, isn't fucking all out like the week after all in? No, it got bumped back a week. Oh, a week! Ooh. <laughs> so. Oh my being... god! Just let it be at the end of September. So instead of it being on like Labor Day Sunday, it'll be the following Saturday. <laughs> um. Okay, so for the entertainment purposes of this stream and podcast that people are listening to a week later. Well, you know what? At least we get July, because it's the only wrestling quest in July, right? Unless, yes. unless you want to give me news right now, because th this was my thought, is that this is the only wrestling quest stream happening in July. You want to do Slave Reversary? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Although, I do wonder what the matches are for Slave Reversary now that you're saying that. I... I've heard the main event is like a six-way elimination match for the world title. Okay. And Joe Hendry is in the match. Okay. So there is maybe a chance Joe Hendry wins the title. Yeah, but I'm less excited about Joe Hendry now that he's with Ace Steel. <laughs> I know! That's, that's such a stupid thing! That's like, like, like... I'm trying to think of another... It's like when Otis stopped doing the Mandy Rose stuff. And I was like, I'm just not a fan of him anymore. Like, it's that one change to a character that can just turn me off of someone of, of being a fan. You know, in, in a weird way, I kind of wanted Mandy Rose and Otis in real life. Yeah. We all did. Otis, Otis is like the nicest guy. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I, I know you don't watch, like, I don't watch a lot of, like, WWE publicity stuff as well. Yeah. But during WrestleMania this year, they had Otis and Omos, the, the giant. Yeah, seven I know. Foot. Yeah, in, in an eating cup. Oh, God, okay. 
And Otis is like the coolest dude. Because <laughs> like he's eating, but like he's talking with everybody and it was so fun to watch. Like I became a bigger fan of Otis and a bigger fan of Omos after that. And right. they only use Omos part time, but he's not like a Brock Lesnar, John Cena level of part time. He's like, he's still on the roster, but he's, you know. Right. No, I got you. Um. So who's in the match for Slamversary? Okay, let me pull that up. Hold up. Let's talk about it. Now, this is this will be our Slamversary coverage for the next five minutes or whatever because we only have. Like 15 minutes left in the stream anyway. Oh, I'm just gonna say real quick, I'm I'm gonna pick Priest to redeem. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I'm picking Priest too. Okay. So it is going to be Moose, our champion, Josh Alexander, Steve Macklin, Nick Nemeth, Frankie Kazarian, and Joe Hen. I forgot that Nick Nemeth is still there. That's why I think I stopped watching TNA. Because he's there. Alright, that's the only match? Well, they have two up. Alright, what do we got? Alright. Like, who is Jordan Grace fighting? Hopefully, someone good. I, I, no, that's I not good. So. That's not a good. No. I don't like that. Go ahead. Ash by Elegance. Ugh. What? Dana, what the hell happened to you, Dana? Seriously. Um, okay, and the other match that they have announced as of this recording, Mustafa Ali defends the X Division title against Mike Bailey. Hopefully Mike Bailey wins that one. I would think so. My God, that, that match alone could get me to buy the pay-per-view. All right, so there's only three matches. Are they doing their, um, their Hall of Fame? Well, they haven't announced it yet. They've, they've oh, no, they, an, they announced it's the anniversary, but I think the Hall of Fame is actually bound for glory. Right. They, they have a few more weeks okay. to announce, you know, when they do, if they do. I'm kind of glad that there's no NXT guys in, in that main event. Yes. I'm very glad about that. It could be, though. There's still time on that. Yeah, there is. Although it was funny when um, at that last NXT event, pay-per-view, premium live, whatever the hell they call it, yeah. and Jordan Grace is having the match, and, he, and here comes Ash, and the commentator's like, that's Dana Brooke! I, I made Ash my elegance! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm uh, lost. I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I'm trying to follow the exclamation point, but... Right. Oh, here we go. This area is very dark. We'll get lost unless we can light it up. Let me find it. Find what? Okay, I guess I can't go in the dark because it hurts me. Owie. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Owie. Did you see how much life that took away from me? Yeah, it took a lot. Thank it's God that we're going to end the stream soon because that way I can figure this out off recording. Yeah, I, I'd like to know how you get... I'd also like to find a store so I can buy items, but... Anything else on your mind as we wind things down here? Um... I'm trying to think. We got 10 Wrestling. minutes left here. Yeah, I know. I don't think... Um, what is this? Oh, give me, let's, let's give the AEW card for tonight. Okay. The one that Jared should be winning. Right. It actually looks like a pretty good show. Let me pull it up real quick. Alright, here's what we've got. So this is probably going to be the main event. Will Ospreay defends the international title against Daniel Garcia. Why wouldn't Jared be the main event? <laughs> so we have the Jarrett. We also have Pat and Brian Danielson in the semifinals of the Owen Hart for the men. We have 
the women's semifinal, Chris Statlander against Willow Nightingale. Brett Baker to appear, and Mercedes Monet has her double title celebration. Great. I'm really looking forward to double title celebration. It's going to be Jared. I, I think the matches actually are going to be what I watch more tonight than mm. anything else. And then I read somewhere today that they're planning a big match in two weeks because that's like their 250th episode of Dynamite. Okay. I have no idea what it's going to be. All right. Maybe it'll be MJF versus... Daniel Garcia. No. God, no. <laughs> God I really hope that's just a red herring. That's, I, that's not no joke. Like, what the hell? Is, are people um, as mad about it as I am, or is it just me? Like, I think it's just you. Is it really people want to see Daniel Garcia versus? Well, I, I haven't heard already? anybody. Well, I haven't heard anybody else say they want that. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. This pumpkin exploded on me. So, and then in three weeks we have blood and guts. Okay. Which is going to be the elite <laughs> Sorry. against whoever team AEW is going to be. And Who's I, and the team? Well, they haven't... It looked, From what I remember a couple weeks ago, it looks like Swerve is going to be the captain of the team. Okay. For a, for Team AEW. That's weird, because I didn't think Swerve had a problem with the Elite. Um... Actually, he said some stuff on Dynamite about, like, what they did to Tony Khan and right. a few other things, so... Um... I... As far as the other members, I don't know who it's going to be. Like, it's so tough because in my mind, I think the 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 person that's going to be in the tournament is going to be Christian Cage. Okay. Because he has a close alliance with the Bucks. Yep, I agree with that. Okay. And... I could see maybe he be he's the fifth guy for blood and guts. Mm -hmm. So wait, who are the team? Who's the team already? You're saying fifth, like we know the other four. Okay, well the elite is the Bucks, Okada, and Pear. Oh, oh, for for the elite, you mean? Okay, sorry. Yeah, for the elite. Yeah. For Team AEW, I have no idea. All right, who do you want it to be? Let that to be the last top we do tonight. Who do you okay. want it to be? Because that happens five. And now I might not even do this match because now I want to start thinking about this. Like, who's my team AEW if I were making one? I'm, I assume we're going to just... We have to automatically put sort of a pair of this. And, and that's fine. Yeah. I can live with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I put... I put Swerve. I put... God, I feel like I want to write this down. Hold on a second. Okay. My team, and you think about yours, and I'm gonna compare our two. Okay. It's gotta be five. I already have two in mind, and then think about the other one. Let me write mine. Right, yeah, yeah, you gotta have Swerve on the team. That's right. Apparently. Um, I feel right. like this is someone else. I feel like I'm probably gonna... Alright, I'm gonna leave this one for now, but if you have a better one, I'm gonna change mine out. Okay. Alright, so you go first. Who are your five? Okay, so obviously Swerve. Yep. I have Danielson, okay. MJF, Osprey, and I'm gonna throw you a curve here. Adam Page. So, all right. So, for you said MJF, Osprey, Adam Page, Daniel. and who's the other one? Daniel. Daniel. All right. I'm gonna tell you right now. 
I would not agree with Danielson. He's not on my team at all. But you did give me some other ideas. So, so I have them. Swerve, Orange Cassidy, Darby Allen, Eddie Kingston, and John Moxley. Okay. So now here's who you. I... Go, go. No, I can tell you right now. Kingston is not going to be in that match. Okay, so Kingston's out. I would trade him... Well, I liked MJF on the team. So yeah, I'll put MJF on there now. Because I didn't think of him at first. Is there anyone else you want to eliminate for me here? Alright, so you okay, so you had Orange. Swerve, Orange Cassidy, Darby Allen, and John Moxley, and now MJF. Moxley might make sense, actually. It, that could work. I I, would I do like... think I think they are gonna do Adam Page though on the team, so I one of my guys is not going to be able to do it. It's probably, is Darby clear to wrestle? Because I feel like he's injured sometimes. I don't know. Let's say, Darby, still... let's say Darby's out because he's injured. Cause I haven't heard anything from him. Okay. Lately. So Adam Page would go there. I do not agree with Osprey either. But, I mean, so for me, I would want to be Swerve, Orange Cassidy, Adam Page, MJF, and John Moxley. That's my, my team. Okay. I don't know why. Just don't associate a, t a, a thing, a team called Team AEW with Brian Danielson. I just don't. Right. Um, and and people are probably gonna say, well, what about Moxley? He was uh, uh, Dean Ambrose. I'm like, yeah, but that's the thing is, I feel like he's gone to another level as yeah. Moxley, yeah. and he's been there every single time with, especially with the CM Punk stuff like you know with the interim champion thing I'm like he is he is a team AEW guy MJF is self-explanatory especially his recent promos um, Adam Page is kind of just be there for the elite you know what will be good actually yeah. now that I'm thinking about it you run the story of Adam Page is he actually part of Team AEW? Exactly! And that's why it would make sense for him to be on Team AEW, even though the Bucks will maybe bring him back tonight. Mm -hmm. Because then the Bucks will be playing off like, oh, he's like our secret agent. Right. Orange Cassidy is, is a is, is a self is a made guy in AEW. He was a fighting champion. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of I don't think people people don't associate him with anything else to my knowledge so that's why he should be there honestly i don't even agree with swerve being there but i guess i have to deal with that um right. yeah but that's that's my team that i would want. let's see if it actually happens um, yeah in the end as far as the i like your idea about christian being the fifth member for a team uh, uh, of the, the elite yeah because i'm pretty sure kenny's not coming back for this Oh God, no! Right, I, so. I think he's out for a while. <laughs> yeah, so. Which is a shame because that means. With, oh no, he was a six man in All In last year, right? Yeah. Was he? No. Yeah, he would. Yeah. No, because FTR thought left, left the the box. But. Yeah, and Kenny wasn't part of that tag team match, was he? No, that was a tag title match. You're thinking of. Who did Kenny Omega fight at All In last year? All right, let me pull it up. I'm trying to wonder if he was even on now. He had to have been. Was it against Takeshita? All right. All in was Adam Page, Kenny Omega, and Kota Ibushi against okay. Bullet Club Gold and Takeshita. Okay, so I was kind of right. Okay. I got two yeah. of them right. All right, all right, Bell. It's time to sign off here. We're gonna leave it on this match because I got—I don't know what I'm doing anyway, and I don't think it's gonna save. I don't know where to save you. So this is gonna drop me off in the last place if I want. So, right. Give your final plugs right. and let's get out of here. Yeah, let's do the plugs. Uh, follow me on Twitter at House of Bill. Follow me on Instagram, Mister Billiam85. As for me, official RP Jimmy on Twitch and YouTube, and as well as Instagram. And we'll catch you next time. So what is it? SummerSlam? SummerSlam. We'll catch you for our SummerSlam preview show when that comes up. Later, everyone.